America is tough. Muted down. Muted down. So you, that's your all conditioned now. You, a lot of people just sit somewhere on their phones listening, little smiles coming on as I'm talking. As soon as you're an American woman, everybody starts getting up and getting into position. <laughs> it's you've all been all been conditioned, guys. Okay, let's put him there. Let's get it ready. Stretches, guys. Any leg you want to bring it forwards, talk towards the shin, hands to hips, bend forwards, eight out of ten. I know somebody had a really, really good week, so that's good. Put the toe towards the shin, keep bending it forwards, keep bending it forwards. Put it in the lower back, take it to 15. Increase to the 15, and just keep the chest moving forwards, lateral thoracic breathing, keep it nice and relaxed, nice stretch. Relax it from there on the foot, coming forwards, toe towards the shin, bending forwards. Was I that one difference? I can feel it in my lower back more, but that's from a workout that I did this morning, so I know where that is but now it's stretching off and releasing. And remember, because you are doing this, because you've conditioned your body, that's three times you've used that word so far, because it, you've done that to your body, whenever you do a workout, you've got a bit of tightness there, that muscle will relax a lot quicker. Two, one, relax from there, guys. Let's just start bringing those knees nicely up, okay? Bring them up, let's have a look at the on the screen. All right, good. Good stuff, all right. And bring the knees up, bring the hands up and get the knees up to the forearms, all right? Pushing up and even there, look. But one time you can really work. Now you're using what we use exercises at one time as stretches at the same time, take it good. Knees just touching my forearms now. I felt, I felt a draft on the forearms at first, then they started touching. You get as high as you can. Hands to the hips, let's take them up and out and up and out. So we'll make sure that everything's nicely warmed up. So we know this week. I don't know if any, so I know press and play, but a lot of you are there. But we've done a little bit of experiment. We all used guinea pigs, weren't we? Take it out to in. And that's spinal mobilizations. So what I did this week was with the isometrics, we included the daily challenge. And then we did a spinal mobilization afterwards. The reason we did that was it was a test of how our spines were. Generally, guys, one foot at a time. But what we found was that after doing the three reps of 10 seconds on the isometric pull apart, it proved how much the energy goes down the spinal column because when we came to do our concrete trousers mobilization rotation, we were going way around, change all the leg guys. You know, turn leg is fine. So it just shows you how isometrics works right through the body. So therefore you're saying, could a spinal mobilization be the three second pull apart? It could if you're nice and warm, but remember, you transfer a lot of energy from the forearms, the shoulders, and then down the spine. Three, two, one, and relax to shake it out. When we stand like this and move the hip and the round, we're just slowly taking the spine over. If you're warm, you can have three second pull apart. Okay, good stuff. Let's get some breaths in. Hands up and out, turn the bum up, breathe in. Exhale down. We are going to do the daily challenge. It's isometrics, why not? Swish it out, reach for the walls, Reach out, reach out, reach out. Rotate the hand. If you've already done it well done, that means to do it twice. Rotate the thumbs backwards. Open the hand upwards. The fingers are going to open up and try and get pulled apart anyway as you keep rotating back. Long arms, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Three seconds, isometric push in. Go. Two, three. Three seconds, isometric pull apart. Go. Two, three. Good. Hands to the side, guys. Lean over any side you want to. Feel the stretch in the waistline. Don't go any further. Just pause and hold. Good. And slowly come back upwards and over the other side. Feeling lucky tonight. I don't know why it is. <laughs> if it's because of the 80 million pound euro millions, you'll have a blank screen tomorrow morning. I will not be at work catches, all right? I'm not one of those people who say, well, I've won 80, come back up, right? I've won 80 million pounds, but it won't change my life. I'm going to be back driving my bus on Monday morning. No, I won't be there. Hands, hands to the thighs. I'll be booking your tickets to Barbados. We're all going out there, guys. Breathe in. Exhale. Slide the hands down the front of the body, all the way down. Middle fingers coming in front of those toes. Then cat stretch. Look behind us, chin to chest, think straight legs, think, breathe in now. 
Exhale and slowly come back up. Good. And we get nice and tall. Think good posture, then pause and hold for three and two and a one. Bring the pointy finger out. No concrete on at all. We're going to take it right around. So get your skis on, hand to here. Breathe in. Exhale and take it around first, then join the dots together. Then put the skis on, in steps to out steps, and rotate and look how far we go around these days. Relax, unwind, bring it back around, guys. Get that arm circling around one way. Then the other way, I did that twice. Point your finger coming out of the side, good posture, hand to here. On the shoulder, breathe in. Exhale, take the hand around, look at the pointy finger. We start rotating around, in steps to out steps, on the skis, and we get to a maximum right the way around. Good stretch. Two, one, and we slowly unwind. And because we do our Saturday stretches, because we have conditioned our body, we get fantastic stretches which take place before we do a workout, guys, because your fitness levels are up there. Hands to here, up on the toes and back down. Good. Up on the toes and back down, up on the toes, and back down, up on the toes, good stuff, keep that going. Okay, I'm gonna get in trouble for this one, because she's doing a press and play with this one tomorrow on the Saturday. Uh, Gromit, or oh, Alison too, <laughs> she does her PT with me. Well, this, today, she deadlifted 57 kilos, she broke her record, okay, so 57, that's just under, or oh, about nine, 10 stones, something crazy like that, I don't know, but it's way up. 57 kilos, guys, good, there, lift up. I've done that one, well done to her. I'm gonna to get told off now because I mentioned it because she asked me not to. Nice and high, guys, nice and high. Good, last one up, take them out to here and left and right, round we go. There, good, round we go. And if you're on the screen now thinking, wow, I can, yes, any one of you could lift that 57 kilos, guys, with the conditioning and the strength training and you'd all get there. Take it round, guys. Keep it going. Look at all the achievements everybody has done on the screen. We've had chats one-to-one -one with everybody on Zoom since we first started. There and there. Back towards me. I'll close hands down, hold the thumb. Rotate the shoulders forwards and rotate them to the rear. A lot of you are doing other fitness stuff as well, feeling fitter. So everybody's just, it's an achievement and it's really good, okay? When you think the rest of Europe at the minute start to go into another bit of a lockdown, aren't they? Let's hope it doesn't spread across. Let's get the turtle back then. Let's start with the legs. Holding the legs, we're going to swing them around onto the back. We're going straight for a 30 seconds with the legs, okay? Then we'll come up and we'll do our, put the turtle down, and we'll get today's daily challenging. Have the feet, do a del boy, left and right. Get relaxed, down, oh, banana and milk, I'm afraid of it. Down to that, on the toilet position, sit to there, guys, and hold, countdown started, all right? So I don't wait for the last person to get down. As soon as I get down there, it doesn't mean watch me and slowly go down. <laughs> Nobody does. Good. So I've picked a spot on the carpet. I'm thinking breathing. All the way, and I smash, because we always talk about this, don't we? Think breathing from the start of your workout, not when you start getting puffed out and gasping for breath. With isometrics, you start from the very beginning, it makes you focus two and one, and we come back upwards, guys. Keep the back on the back and just shake those legs out. I'm getting the sound effects from the hallway. <laughs> Stop. All right. Unfortunately, it's not the stirring of a nice cup of baby special coffee. It's the old, I'll get you for this later, all right? Okay, so we're going to be those in steps together, guys. Mini railway tracks. Good. We ready? Down we go there. Good. And we hold. So ears, shoulders, hips, all aligned. We know how important the isometrics is. And again, we talk about this, don't we? No matter what level of an athlete you are, and we are all athletes, you are athletes, Everybody should include in their weekly program at least one session of a Pilates yoga type class, stretching, and also isometrics. We should all be doing that one. I don't care what type of sportsman you are. Well, maybe not fishermen. And slowly standing back up and shake up. I haven't said that, guys. All right. Want us to have that focus. Fishermen, Pilates, yoga, keep the mental focus going. All right. 
Good stuff. Shaking it all out. Bringing the feet and that's what. You know what? I don't care what anybody calls a sport. If it's recreational and they enjoy it, they're getting out and they're doing a fitness thing and that's fantastic because there's millions who don't, isn't there? Okay, ready? Feet or oh, semi sumo. Down we go. My elbows rest on the knees and the whole day. It never, well, there's quite a few here in Northern Walk with me, been on trips with me. You get to an area, a population of Cornwall, just over half a million. As you know, the two walking groups, a Thursday and a Sunday, and most of those walking groups were at different places around Cornwall. We don't see anybody else, no <laughs> what time of year it is, or hard, and hardly anybody. It's, it's amazing. And you know, some of you had that same with me when we've been out and walking in London with trips to Wales and everywhere. Just holding that, guys. Three, two, one, up we come. Put that down. You know what? That, that felt so comfortable. We could do that over and over again, couldn't we? Because you just feel really good. Right. Breath in before we move on. Take the hands out, turn the palms up, breathe in. Let's get the Friday crunchy feeling. Release the turtles. And down we go. Good. And arc those hands down. Shake it out, guys. Okay. 100% first off, because you're nice and warm. That's why we're going to do the challenge. Daily challenge. Fingers ready. So I have on these just like this. 10 seconds. I'm really strict with it. Go. 100%. I've got the shakes already. I can feel that in the shoulders. Three, two, one. Relax those hands down. Give it a nice shake out. Rub the back of the wrists. Good. Hopefully, you can get isometrics into a, a really good habit. Bring the hands back in again, guys. We ready? Go. There. 100%. Really going for it. I can feel that now. Base of the skull, chest, shoulders, deep into the waistline, daily cheese wedges. Relax it back down, guys. Get a shake out. Good. Okay, back again. Pull apart. Go. And that's your daily challenge done. Look at that. I'm being kind to you. Well, I've already done it twice. Relax back down, guys. Right, that reminds me, I've got to go and trim my fingernails. Oh, I hurt a little bit. Shake it out, guys. Good, rotate the shoulders around. We have a Tommy Cooper thing going on up here, all right? Now, we've done the legs, done the upper body. We'll stick with the upper body, be fair, all right? Be fair with you. Turtle bag. Black. Patches at the side. Oh, God, my nose is itching. The 80 million is getting closer. <laughs> All right. There. It's against the chest. Knees just off lock to here. 10 second push in. 100% ready. Go. There. How are you thinking? Do I squeeze it? Is the internet froze? <laughs> what am I doing? Good. Four, three, two, one. And relax that down, guys. Relax it down. Shake this. Take the arms out. Don't tilt down if you need to, shaking the hands out. Okay, here we go. Same position, same position, not changing it, keeping it nice and simple this evening. Against the chest, it's there. Ready, 10 seconds. Go. There. I like turning on, and I keep saying this, every time we finish, that's my favorite one, that's my favorite one. But when we are asymmetric with the turtle, it's got that give in it, and that's a really good thing to feel. Relax it down, guys, okay, good. But then again, we do the towel, and it's different isometrics, nothing, no movement at all. A little bit of the turtle back, shake it out, good. Last one coming up, here we go. Ready? And go. Three exercises done already. Keep it going, guys, 100%, two and a one. Put the bag down to one side. Shake the hands out. Walk it around a bit. Don't stand static on the floor either. Let's get a breath in. Hands up and out. Turn the palms up. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Good. And arc it down. Shall we do the active beast or should we do the knee squeeze? <laughs> That'd be the knee squeeze then. <laughs> I, I was getting some hand signals. I don't know what they meant. Okay. So we're going to bring it in to here, guys. Knees, my feet, width of the turtle bag apart. Don't bring it narrow in. Don't have narrow, narrow insteps because you get your knees in a, a barrow, a cockney barrow boy shape, and we don't want that. Not good. Ear short, of nice line. Thirty seconds, squeeze in. Go there. Oh, feel that one, your doctors. 
that's right deep in the pelvic floor. So one of the strongest, you want to have a strong pelvic floor? What are the ones to do, guys? Here we come. But we do so many of them, don't we? But isometrics is now going to your pelvic floor, the hip area, your skeleton, into there. Changes every 10 years. Not all in one go. Don't you wake up more the skeleton on the floor because you've got a new one. It, it, it takes time to regenerate. Relax it down, guys. Good. All right. I'm going to text from you. So it's, it's 10 years. There's some bones on the floor in my bedroom. bedroom. I think they fell out last night. Okay, good. Here we go. Back in. So I'm sending away to Charles Atlas, Mr. Atlas. I've done the bodybuilding course. Can you now please send me the muscles? All right, we're ready. 30 seconds. Two, one. In we go there. Oh, it is. The other thing about symmetrics is you do, do the three, and each one, the second one, for you feel more activation than the first, and the third one, you feel more activation. That's how we the abdominal area. The glutes are firing up, and all those attachments where they're attached onto the bones, they're getting that transference, that, that, that power as well. Hold it there, count down, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, relax that down, good. Give them a nice gentle shake out. We're gonna come to the knee tremble a bit after this one, because they need it. Okay, good. Back and remember, your adductors, one of the laziest muscles in the body, the inside of the legs. The inside of the legs don't do any work at all unless we make them. We make them because we're a double boys fit family. Machines, 30 seconds in, go there. Good. And as I bring that in, we could do a combo here with a full body and do a squeeze at the same time. We focus on the legs, we're squeezing in, because you can feel even the, uh, your lats, they're working. You can feel the, the chest working as well. As you bring your hands down, you feel all the muscles, they're all getting pumped up and working hard, helping each other out. Lower back, mid to lower back engaging there. And that's bringing that waistline in daily. Cheese wedge shape two. One, relax it down, guys. Listen to it there. I know it's a bit powerful one. Big muscles, calories being burnt, heart rate comes up, we can feel that. Take the hands up and out, turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Take a second or two. Thumbs above the sternum where the heart is. Good posture, two and a one. Okay, get the feet nice and straight. So that angle there, it's the old knee trembler thing, and get the knees going in and out. The hamstrings are going to love that one, the adductors are, the knee joints and everything. And at the same time, feel the activation from below your rib cage into the waistline, join the dots together, two and one, and relax that back down. Let's come back to the upper body, shall we? Da -da 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 -da. You know what that means. Robin Hood's in the room. Okay, long arm. Brooks, last week we did, did three different positions with the, uh, the band, didn't we? It's there, guys. Arms straight. I've got them, the legs lined up like sights, looking straight down. I'm going to look at you, so I'm going to let go. Ready? Two, one, go. And pulling that apart. There. And that is the grip. It's the hands, it's elbows, shoulders, down the spine, into the abs, pelvis, floor, hips. Relax it down, guys. Good. Rotate those shoulders around. Fantastic. Remember, you finish a class, you won't be looking at protein up to for in the next hour, I think, but particularly after an isometrics or a band session, if you can, all right? It's there. But we come to there and we hold and go. There. Good. It's easy for me to say because I've, I've got my protein powders. And I can just mix up 250 mils and drink it straight down. Happy as Larry, that's job done. Good. Two, one. Relax it back down, guys. Place him down. Take the weight off the hands. Now we can start to feel body working hard. Now we've gotten that feeling where we've been, we've been with Gromit lift 57 kilos because it feels like it. The forearms, everything working super hard, okay? Shake it all out. Good. Back to the side. We're going to do the same. But three times either side, keeping it simple, no different angles or dangles, anything like that. It's back to here. It's 10 seconds in two, one, go there. Time's flying, isn't it? Good. So I'm looking at you guys, looking there, looking down the line. 
Keep it pulling. Relax it down. Rotate the shoulders around. Good. It's amazing, isn't it? How fast our semesters go. And you can start isometrics any age you want to. But I want to, your kids, not, the bones still developing and things like that. All right. So, but certainly adults onwards, there's no age restrictions. Let me go, guys. There. And two, one, go. It's non contact, right? It's not running, there's no stress on the joints. It's hard work. And the most important muscle in the body, the heart, is working super hard. Relax that one back down. We'll take the shoulders round. Really feel the Greek work. It's about now I'm thinking, why not pull the part of yellow turtle? Why not make it easier for myself and, and get a green one? Because the, the weight that's here is not really adding to it, okay? It's, it's the force that we are putting into trying to pull the legs off. Here we go, raising up. It's there. Ready? Last one this side. Go. There. Good. Yes, I can see some monster faces. Got some tremors going on, guys. You got those yet? Two, one. Relax it down. Good. And I've just got the feeling I've just gone hand mopping, starving. All right, good. All right, here we go. Upwards. It's there. It's the last one this side. I'm not going to get a breath after this one. Ready? Two, one. Go. And pull that apart. Keep going. We're going back the legs in a second. Or two. Or five. Two. One. Relax that back down. Place him down. Sweating now. Lots of glowing people and sweating people on the, on the screen. Shake it all out. Shake the legs out. So keep the body nice and relaxed. The relaxed athlete always performs better and achieves more. Take the hands up and out. Turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold again. Me time. Two, one. Arc those hands down. It's one active beast either side, guys, all right? I'm well aware of the leg work we've done, so I don't want to break people or break us. One active... Oh, hang on. Nicola's waving. I think Nicola wants two active beasts. <laughs> Is that the signal? <laughs> okay, good. It's Friday, guys. Here we go. Ready? Let's take the knee. Pick your spot on the floor. Big focus. This is 30 seconds, one either side. And we'll take 30 seconds of gap between each one. Ready? Two, one, go. There. And we're holding that one there. Good. Good. Breathe in, lateral thoracically. That now is more than 15, all right? Be honest with you. Really feel it working super hard. Glutes, everything. One either side. Now, be the double voice machine. Be proud of yourselves. Don't let it beat you. If you have to, the knee can kiss the floor and bring it back again. But try to hold it off. Countdown coming up. Three, two, one, and I bring it back up again and shake it out. Oh, feeling that one right through the glutes, down through the, the thighs. Looking forward to the Saturday stretch already. I'm just going to stay here and wait and stare at the screen. All right? Whites of the eyes. Okay, Let's shake it out, guys. In your own time, take that big deep breath in. Hold for a couple of seconds and blow it back out again. Good. Ready. We are. Take the knee, guys. Other side. Right, now you know which focus is going to take. Two, one, up we come. There. I've got a list of exercises, guys. When we've done them, we are done. And we are, believe it or not, ahead of the game. So keep this going. When we finish, we finish. No plumbing your noses. This is a huge, huge session. There's absolutely nothing to be gained from getting what in what we've got to do than doing bonus ones. Right, you've got that full body using maximum 100% energy, full focus, all muscles working. Good. Countdown coming up. Three, two, one. Up we come. Get the turtle back, place it down. Give stuff a shake out, walk that around. Get relaxed, feel relaxed, feel relaxed. Good. Liking that one. Shaking everything out. Good. Excellent day. All right. Good hold my turtle back. Underhand grip. There. Overhand grip. 
here. And the action I'm getting is, I'm just putting down a second, is that. That's the movement we're going to be aiming for, okay? And there. So we're getting this cross section over the body. We spoke about it before. When you work a shoulder, obviously a hip, the core loves it, all right? Okay, 10 seconds. We're joining dots here. Thighs, abs, a lot of big work going on. Let's feel it. And try and hold it about there. Ready? And go. Good. Oh, feel that. Feel the abs, the chest, pecs. Actually, the hand is pulling down, two, one, relax that down, rotate it, forearms, feel how hard they're working, and that side, maybe tearing the top jam jaw, they don't want to screw jam jaw lids, I just tear the tops off them, all right, okay, it saves the teeth biting them, doesn't it, so, change sides, this hand's upwards, that hand's downwards on the legs, give the turtle's neck a bit of a, a, bit of a rest, about there, ready? Good, go. You know what guys, those bags twitched, they didn't move. That's good, well done, I'm really impressed. Two, one, relax it down. There was not a, the back, not, nobody's bag did this or that, there was a quite a little twist and I can see the power's being put in, well done. Shake the hands out, shake them out. Good, okay, back to this side. One hand up, one hand down. And we're there. We're in position. We're ready? And go. Now feel the abs more. Feel the ribs more. All working hard. This is giving you definition and tone, guys. We're going we're gonna to scare people next spring. Two. One. Relax on that. Rotating the shoulders around. Good. I, I want to put the turtle back down. I want to wiggle those fingers, but I want to keep it going. So we're here. Wiggle them, changing it over. There, in, ready. Of course, you can put your turtle back down between the one. Some of you are, that's fine. Ready, same movement, and ready, go. Yes, two, you said ready three times with my back was twitching then. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, that's it. That's massive. Two, one, relax. That now is transfer. I can feel that like right all down is crossing into the spine there, guys. The L1, L5 section we speak about, they are coming to their own now, right there. They're helping out the rest of the spine. Okay, because they're the strongest parts. Last one this side. Hand, hand, we're there. Okay, so breathing after this, ready? And go. Good. Chest, back, look at your posture. You're pulling across, but it's activating right through the core. Deep, deep muscle workout. Relax it down, guys. Good. One more to the other side. Hands underneath there. This hand's there, pointing down or holding it down. That one's up. Well, we're getting biceps at the same time, triceps. We're getting about 50 different exercises for the one. Ready? And go. Good. 100%. I've got the shake, got the tremors. I'm feeling thirsty. I'm feeling hungry. But I want to be a machine. Keep it going, guys. Monster faces. Relax it down. Put the turtle back down. Good stuff. Like it. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake the feet out. Take the hands up and out. Turn the palms up. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. You've got two full body ones coming up. 20 seconds each, okay? All right. They're not new. We've done them before, but not for a while. So, holding it like this, and I'm putting the turtle to the floor, and I'm standing on his legs, or her legs, whatever you want to call them. So I turn sideways, look. That's my angle there, sticking the butt out, deadlift position. I'm looking up 45 degrees, everything straight, ears, shoulders, and hips. Keeping the hands straight, don't try and bend the elbows. You're trying to stand up deadlift. Squeeze tight. Ready? Go. There. Feel that one now? Side of the ribs, the back. Good. Big, powerful stuff. The glutes. Hamstrings and quads are working, but it's really your lower core part working super hard. Holding it there. Count on coming up. Three, two, one, relax it down, walk away, shake it out. You've got your grip 
up the arms. It's then that eight shape we talk about. Get the spine, turn it on the side, cross the shoulders, down the spine, into the hips. That's all down. It's in. You think it'd be the legs, but because you've got stability, these are going to be locked out working hard. The muscle engagement mainly comes from the pelvic floor area. You felt it, didn't you? Into the corso, into the, the torso. Corso. All right, sounds like a Japanese card. Okay, hands. Last one of these, two 20 second ones. I'm well aware how powerful, how hard we've all been working. Get to position, stick the butt out, feel comfortable. Like granddad warming his backside in the fire. Remember that one, the cold fire ready? Go. And again, a very slight twitch from everybody, but I see that engagement, and that is fantastic. That's power, guys. There's enough power into a way of generating. Britain, Britain are building nuclear power stations. We, there's enough energy here to like a small city. Well done. Keep it going, 100%. Countdown, three, two, one. Relax that back down. Shake it all out. Take the turtle bag, place him down to one side. Your turtle, I told you, we get all the exercises done we need to. They're done because that is a big monster session, guys. Lots of exercises for the full body, not just breaking down. Sometimes we do, all right? So from there, any leg you want to, bring forward, toe towards the shin. Hands to hips, and over we go. 15 out of 10 straight away. Lateral thoracic breathing, and keep that at 15. If you want to do 15 and a half, you can do. But keep the chest going forward all the time. All the time. Stretching all these muscles out and working super hard. Two and a one. Relax, changing it over. Other foot coming forward, toe towards the shin, and we go straight over, all the way. There. Look at the mobilization. The origins and insertions of the muscles have all been working harder than normal, isometrics, they work harder. Muscle transferring energy into the bones so they want to stretch out, they're gonna love it. Two and one, and we relax it down. Bring the hands to here and just working those knees up. Look how good everything feels. You get one leg off the floor, don't even think about losing the balance anymore, you just feel powerful, looking good. Two, one. Point your finger out. Skis are already on. Hand to here. Breathe in. Exhale and round we go. Have we got? Have we got more? If I go any further, guys, I guess some WD forty. I'm going to screw top of my body off. It'll be a big mess in the living room. Big rotation. Unwind. Arm coming round, guys. Twice. Twice back the other way. Good. Bring the other hand out. Hand to here. Last stretch. Breathe in. Exhale and take it all the way around, working it. We get so much range of movement because of our stretches, our Pilates, Bimilates, and the other stuff that we do. Slowly unwind, get the arm going around one way, back around the other way. That's what I call a fantastically successful session, guys. I'm going to ask you all to unmute there now because we can get in the important part. We're finishing about a minute and a half, two minutes earlier than what I planned because we've got in all the exercises. So from me to you, brilliant, well done. Bring the hands to here. You deserve this. One, two, three, go. There. Fantastic. Thumbs up, guys. God, you're knocking them. You're getting scary. You are kidding. Be safe. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Dad. Bye. Cheers, guys. Thank you.